So everyone's talking about it. There's a brand new 4x4 on the way, but what exactly will be in store for us when we get our grubby hands on the new Ineos Grenadier? Welcome to Building the Grenadier. Over the next 12 months, I've been given exclusive access behind the scenes to find out exactly what the Grenadier will be and how it will be built from the axles and chassis to the suspension, the powertrain and beyond. Fancy taking a look? Why not join me? Ineos say they're building the Grenadier using a classic 4x4 blueprint, so for them there was only one type of chassis to choose. A letter frame is the only way to build a proper off-road vehicle 4x4. Ladder frames have been the basis for some of the most iconic off-roaders for over 70 years, starting with the Willis Jeep. So you could ask, why would Ineos use anything else? We are not using a monocoque because we are not building an SOV. Strong, stiff, rugged and reliable, ready for mud, sand, rock and snow. And ideal for attaching extra equipment like heavy-duty underbody protection or winches and anything else you need in the field. Well, that's the plan. Ineos is creating the ladder frame in partnership with a highly experienced vehicle manufacturing company that has a proven pedigree of making ladder frames that can tackle the toughest environments. So the engineers are in no doubt at all. The Grenadier skeleton will be a box section ladder frame. Now they'll happily give you a whole load of science and stats to explain why. But for mere mortals like us, the bottom line is absolutely clear. The ladder frame is super strong and a really well proven 4x4 platform that over decades has helped aid organizations, conservationists, explorers, foresters, and of course, farmers work harder. For a 4x4 to get the job done, no matter how punishing the conditions, the Grenadier engineers feel that beam axles front and rear are essential. Beam axle is the most robust design we can provide for this vehicle. Ineos looked long and hard for the right supplier for the Grenadier's axles. They chose Carraro. Why? Because of their long history building tough four-wheel drive vehicles, including tractors, making them the perfect fit for the Grenadier. As you can imagine, there's been a whole lot of debate about whether the Grenadier should have independent suspension or beam axles. Now, both setups, of course, have their pros and cons, but on balance, the engineers have decided that beam axles are going to be more robust, less vulnerable to damage, and ultimately much more likely to keep you going when the going gets tough. Beam axles front and rear and a box section ladder frame. Ineos's vision for a no compromise foundation to their ultimate 4x4. So the ambition is clear. They're starting with a blank sheet of paper. The Grenadier is being designed and built from the ground up. Every component chosen by engineers at the top of their game and that's got to be very good news. Join me next time when I'll be trying to find out more about the suspension setup.